What's going on guys? My name is Alex, your average gamer dude, back here again with another video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be comparing the OSA to the RPR EVO. The reason why I'm comparing these today is I really like both of the guns. They are very good guns. I really wanted to say that RPR EVO was my favorite, but then I unlocked the OSA and I was like, ooh, I think this is my favorite. And I'm not really sure. Like, they are pretty close on as far as fire rate, as far as... Um, well, we'll go over these things with you guys. Um, to begin with, I want to start with the OSA. You do unlock it at level 55, so you have to do pretty high uh, ranking in order to unlock it. Um, I... When I unlocked it, I didn't know I was actually able to unlock it simply because since it was a classic weapon, I thought we had to have a classic weapon unlock in order to really be able to use it. So I was like, well, I'm not going to really waste a token on that because, you know, like the M1 and there's other guns I would rather get than the OSA. But when I found out that you could get it as just as a regular weapon, I was like, whoa, this is awesome. So here I'm showing you some gameplay of the OSA. We're going to start off with the OSA. Um, the class setup that I have are the same for both weapons, as you're going to see in the videos. I have Quick Draw, I have Extended Mags, and I have uh, the Grip. So we have a little bit more stabilization because, yes, the OSA is an assault rifle, but it has a very high fire rate. Therefore it really bounces a lot it's it's not very you always have to almost keep your your left joystick pushing down as you fire in order to get a kill that's maybe medium range it's not but the fire rate that it comes out kind of compensates for it not gonna lie it is very good at close ranges let me tell you this thing shreds all right you do not want to get caught next to this thing um Hip fire is not too bad on this weapon as well. You can just spray and pray and basically you will probably get the guy. Now if he's just a little further away than a couple feet away from you, you are most likely going to die. So that is why I have the extended mags so that you have duration as you use the weapon. And that is really, really important because you will get slaughtered if you don't. So... As I said, I really enjoy this gun, but at far ranges, it really, it's kind of difficult. So it only works on specific maps, per se. Uh, this second gameplay that you're watching right now is of a longer range map, Genesis. And you see how I really don't do too well. I kind of cut out most of the parts where I died, but behind the scenes, I actually died a lot. Because it was so not good at a distance, you see, it just it can't lock onto targets, and you get destroyed by the NV4, by the R3K, or whatever. Any other semi-ranged weapon will will take you out. So, like the first map that we played, that was a pretty good map. We did pretty well on it, but there you see that uh, hip fire does do work. But when it comes to further distances you're just not going to do too well with this weapon. So, with that being said, is it really worth working your way up all the way to level 55 to get this gun? I don't know. I mean, you're going to get it for free either way. Uh, it's not something that you have to, you know, use your, uh, your keys to unlock or anything. Uh, but... There are different variants for it. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, tokens for that, my uh, my keys and stuff. But uh, as far as this weapon goes, I really like it. It does have a grenade launcher, as you just saw. It is good for close quarter people that are uh, enemies that are in close quarters. It'll, it'll take out a couple of them if you do get it in the right spot. But you only get one shot with it. That is kind of disappointing. I was thinking hopefully maybe like three or four shots. 
but you can you only get one so it's kind of a hit or miss and if you miss you're kind of screwed honestly and if you point at the ground i notice sometimes it the the grenade will just like launch off the ground and just roll away somewhere else and then eventually blow up dealing little to no damage whatsoever so that's something that you should really keep in mind unless there's a lot of people in a small area now uh as far as the class setup that i have like i said they're both the same for this gun this weapon as well as the rpr evo that i'm going to be showing you in just a second but before that i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the differences in these weapons i'm going to be doing a stock this is stock with no attachments nothing hip fire straight against the wall you see how it doesn't do doesn't spread out too much but you back up a little bit and as i was saying before you you're not gonna do good check this out it just sprays all over the place and you just have that huge kick that just makes you literally just shoot right up the wall this is the rpr evo in the smg mode it's a smaller target all right but when you hip fire this from a couple feet away you would just start going you're bouncing from left to right a lot and you go a little to the left so you see how that works now with the attachments with the extended mags the quick draw and the grip you have a pretty much the same thing when it comes to hip fire but whenever you come to the hip fire from far range it really doesn't do anything either um i was kind of surprised at that i was really hoping that it would do a little bit better with the attachments but apparently you taking up those slots for attachments doesn't really do that much <laughs> for the weapon this is the rpr evo with the same attachments does a little bit better and it looks like the attachments work a little bit in its favor but not much because you see how it goes to the right now so it's pretty inconsistent in the way that it randomly shoots as well now this is the rpr evo in the assault mode i don't know if you guys know but this weapon has two modes we'll get into that later so that is to the wall and then from a little bit further away from hip fire it almost really isn't that bad uh with the attachments it does get a lot better in the assault mode as far as from close range and from far range you'll see that it's not too much different again i understand that we are shooting from the hip and we're not really supposed to get that much good uh hits from from hip firing any weapons but if you have if you're putting these attachments on it you kind of want it to you know work in your favor right so you'd think for an smg it would be a little bit better at close quarters but I think uh, maybe, you know, Treyarch may hopefully fix that, give it a little bit. But either way, these weapons are really good. Close water com combats, they will beat anyone. Now, this is gameplay of the RPR Evo. I had the same attachments as I've said before, but in close quarter uh, maps, just like this one, it shreds. The SMG mode shreds. And I don't know if you guys already know this or not, obviously, like I've already mentioned previously, this does have two modes, Assault Mode and SMG Mode. This is the reason why I kind of wanted this to be my favorite gun. I, I started playing with it, and the first time I started playing with it, I started, you know, shooting it and everything. I was like, whoa, this gun is amazing. You have both Assault and you have SMG. And the weapon is pretty decent at both of them. Better at SMG than at assault, mainly because it is an assault right, uh, SMG uh, rifle uh, weapon. Excuse me, but it does a very good job at at being an assault rifle. You almost get two good weapons in one. This is what really, really stood out to me as far as this weapon goes. I do have scavenger. And I am using uh, Hardwired, and I don't remember what the other one I was using, uh, the perk was. Oh, a Dexterity. Um, as you, sh as I saw, uh, showed you before, 
these weapons need dexterity big time simply because their reload time is very very slow like like insanely slow so basically these are uh high firing rate weapons so you're gonna burn through your clips pretty quickly therefore you're gonna need a reload pretty quickly as well because you can't have a fast firing weapon and a slow reload you're just gonna get eaten alive it doesn't matter how many people you kill someone's gonna come up behind and they're gonna kill you so fast reloading is definitely definitely necessary for this uh for these weapons i do have the kinetic armor as well as i have i don't remember what it's called but it allows you to start with full ammo full ammo capacity and that i think is really good because like i said these are high high firing rate weapons and you're gonna be burning through ammo really quickly so and the ammo packs that you pick up in this game really aren't that big of of ammo they don't render you that much ammo and then kinetic armor just to help you keep alive a little bit longer so um anyways these two weapons are the best i think in the weapon as far as close quarters you're just not you're not going to find anything better yes of course we have the nv4 and other weapons such as that and the m1 and stuff but those deal better at medium range than anything nv4 is pretty much the easiest weapon to use i think in this game but as far as smgs and fast firing weapons these two are the way to go you're not gonna find anything better like this rpr evo just absolutely shreds so uh you're definitely gonna be seeing uh i think you probably you should be seeing this more often I definitely love using this weapon. I always get tons and tons of kills with this weapon, but you have to get used to changing from the assault mode into the SMG mo mode and vice versa. Because if you don't, at long ranges, you're gonna get killed with the RPR Evo because it tends to jump around a lot when you're at further ranges than pretty much anything that's super close. So you really got to watch out for that. So as I mentioned before, the MV4, like it's a very versatile weapon. I think that's why it's so mainly used because it's good at, it's pretty good at close quarters, very good at medium ranges, and you can also get really long range shots uh, if you know how to control the weapon recoil. Um, I'm going to definitely, I think I might start doing this more often, comparing these two weapons, uh, well, not just these two weapons, but other weapons, maybe do some episodes about it. If you guys do uh, like the uh, this little video episode thing, just let me know and in the comment section below, and I'll see what I can do. If you guys really do like it, then I'll go ahead and start making more of these videos more often. It does take me a long time. Uh, to make these videos a uh, good almost two hours to make it and just editing not even just recording about three to four to fully make it but if you guys really like it and you guys really want to see more of this i'll be glad to um they're pretty pretty interesting weapons they have in infinite warfare you're gonna see some pretty good stuff i'm gonna prestige here in probably the next day or so so I've, I've heard that you can you get a, a classic weapon unlock token. So I'll definitely be unlocking a weapon. And uh, I'm thinking the M1, but I'm not sure. I'm going to take a look at all the other classical weapons they have and see uh, what which one I'm going to get. I have played with the M1 before, and it absolutely is a beast. So I'm thinking about that uh, gun. But I'll, I'll probably do a video on that. I also have a lot of, of keys and uh, all the other little points. I'm probably going to be doing a supply drop opening soon, within the next couple days as well. So stay tuned for that because I really want to see if I can get different variants for weapons. Maybe even get one that has a nuclear, uh, pop, uh, a nuclear variant so that I can start getting nuclears. That would be pretty cool. So, if you guys want to watch that, just let me know as well, down below, and um, we'll be definitely getting those soon. Uh, nice thing about this uh, game, 
is that you get deanimizer bombs with the right variant, the nuclear variant, as I was just talking about. That is pretty cool. They didn't have that in Black Ops 3 or in, ad, uh, I don't know if in Advanced Warfare, but definitely not in Black Ops 3. And I think that would be amazing. That would be awesome if we could get that uh, weapon variant and we could start dropping those deatomizer bombs. And honestly, with this weapon or with the OSA, it would be really, really easy. But again, like I said before, with the OSA, you have to have the right map to do well with it. If you don't have the right map, it's going to be pretty difficult to really control it. So, uh, keep that in mind. But anyways, guys, this is Alex. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like it. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I will see you guys on my next video. I'm signing out now. Peace.